Mom and dad, 73 years married. Uh, what a legacy. Amen. I didn't do the work, but I was awful proud in saying so. <laughs> I tell a lot of people every day, my parents been married 73 years. Well, they look at me like I'm special. <laughs> We served him. But as mom started to have some declining health, he began to serve her. So he would, you know, call you on the phone and talk to you. And, you know, he you know, he was kind of real. And, uh, so he always had a new girlfriend. And, uh, Look out now. So somebody should bring the girl down to the house. So mom, after three or four of those trips, she said, uh, she pulled Kenny to the side. In fact, she was talking to all those boys over the kids. She said, Kenny, uh, she said, son, don't, don't bring your part timers back here. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> that was a message to the rest of us, too. <laughs> don't bring your part timers to the house. <laughs> I used to think I was my mother's favorite. I thought that for many, many years. So I was always late coming to the functions. They'd always say, hey, don't you always late? But when I'd walk in, mama would look at me bright eyed and say, Dad, my baby's here. <laughs> I was the only one she said that to me. But I got there early one day because Isaiah, he'd always complain about you being late. So I got there early and Isaiah was late. Isaiah came in, and I was sitting on the porch with mom and dad, and mom brightened up and looked at Isaiah and says, who are my babies? Isaiah, really? I said, Brian, I get Christy, I get, but Isaiah. <laughs> As I was praying about what to talk about, I have to do this because this is what dropped in my spirit. I was walking the floor and playing. He was special because he was the youngest. <laughs> he didn't have to do nothing. He just beat you, okay? <laughs> That's all right. We didn't even have that. Christy. Christy. Christy could walk in a room and just light it up. Mother loved to see Christy because she had something funny to say. It was going to be extremely country. But <laughs> <laughs> well, she was going to lighten the room up. We always love to see her. And I, I, I don't, no matter where I'm at, I run into somebody with some cowboy boots on them. I ask them about rodeo. I get to talk to them, and they know Christy. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the song, Everybody, the, the show, Everybody Loves Chris. Everybody Loves Christy. <laughs> because he got out of a lot of work because he figured out how to clean the house. He was real good at cleaning the house. So all that dad would take all this and then, boys, we gonna go so and so, mom would say, David, stand with me. So much soul. 
in her voice. Mm. And she just played. Yeah. I didn't think she liked it all that much, but she knew mama liked it. <laughs> but she was listening and, and with the intention. So I thought I was special that day. Turned out I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lizzie Paul, 